I'm here this evening on behalf of the Metro Metropolitan Local Aboriginal Lands Council and I bid you welcome on behalf of my people, the traditional owners. First of all, to officially welcome us, our host this evening, please, a big round of applause for the Premier of New South Wales. It is such a, a joy to be here. I think that is the best way to describe how I feel because it's not often you get a chance to celebrate excellence. Amongst our public sector, we have a lot of excellence and everyone that's here tonight, uh, all the nominees, congratulations. I can honestly say I'm proud of every single one of you and it is, it is a joy to be able to come and celebrate your excellence. Our first of our team awards is in the category of strengthening the economy and making New South Wales a better place to do business. And Premier, when it comes to strengthening the economy and making New South Wales a better place to do business, our team winner is implementation of stewardship contracts, road maintenance in Sydney. It's all about safer roads, better quality roads and better communication with the customer on the roads as well. So there's multiple benefits out of this and it'll go from seven to ten years. Our second award this evening is in the category of making New South Wales a better place to live. Our first of joint winners, the Northern Beaches Hospital Project Health Infrastructure and Health Scope. It's really about improving health services in the Northern Beaches. So the idea is the hospital is, is, a, is a bigger facility, therefore we can offer a higher level of service than has been offered before. So when it comes to making New South Wales a better place to live, our other winner is the Sydney Metro Northwest Pre-Employment Program. We're sitting at about an 80% job outcome rate, nearly 100% zero turnover, so they stay in the jobs. And um, it's changeable through other industries, so the models working in hospitality, in commercial cleaning and in general construction. We move on now to providing better support and opportunities to the vulnerable. And the winner in the category of providing better support and opportunities to the vulnerable is changing minds on mental health issues. It's amazing, so it just shows that we did the right thing and that it's, it worked well. Our next category is Building Stronger and Safer Communities, our fourth award this evening. And the winner is iProud. Okay. I wanted to give the Premier an iProud tie and sir, I got a chance tonight. Thank you very much. The most important element that made this program work is the partnership. The agency is working together. And we just think that this is an amazing opportunity for Aboriginal people and for our community. We move on now to the final of our team awards. It's for customer focused delivery. And the winner is Small Business Support. We provide small business support throughout all of New South Wales. Last year, 48,000 hours. Our small business bus, 336 visits throughout New South Wales, 65 advisors. So I think logistically, that's probably one of our biggest challenges. But we love working in New South Wales, and particularly, we love working in regional New South Wales. So that brings us to the end of our team awards, and it's now time to meet our individual award winners. In the category of strengthening the economy, and making New South Wales a better place to do business. The winner in this category is Michael Ernie from the Department of Primary Industries. The most rewarding, I think, is probably working with people, particularly when they haven't got water. You know, it's just so the necessity of life and when we've actually been able to put water back into river systems or back into wetlands. Let's make New South Wales a better place to live. It's our second category and the winner is Greg Barclay from the Illawarra Shoalhaven Local Health District. Certainly palliative care is very much a multidisciplinary team uh, area of medicine and, and so it's the team around me that have, have got me here as well. Premier, the individual award for providing better support and opportunities to the vulnerable. There can be only one winner and it is Juliet Munro from the Department of Family and Community Services. I think that the award is, is really a validation of the important needs of the care leavers to, to have access to records about their, their childhoods. We move on now, Premier, to the category of individual awards, building stronger and safer communities. And the winner is, for building stronger and safer communities, Stephen Collins from Woi Woi South Public School. I had a pretty fortunate life where I got a lot of opportunities uh, through my, throughout my career and I just like to see other kids in the community achieve that as well. 
We've got one final individual category to acknowledge here, customer focused delivery. And Premier, the winner in this category is John Filicamo from the Department of Primary Industries. What we managed to achieve um, with the cooperation of so many people um, was uh, a very rewarding and for me a uh, career highlight. And Premier, it's time for you to come forward and announce the overall winner. The overall winner tonight is John Filicamo from the department, so well done. Well, this brings us to our final award for the night, the Anthea Kerr Award for Individual Excellence. We have two winners of this year's Anthea Kerr Award. They'd both like to come forward. They are Laura Debnam from Niagara Park Public School and Tony Perusco from New South Wales Public Works. I definitely find the relationships that I can build with students and their families and my colleagues the most rewarding part of my job. This individual award that I've gotten is really should be um, to everyone at New South Wales Water Solutions because everyone there does great work. It is so powerful when you get skills and experiences and you match it with a passion. You bring those together and you can make a real difference, uh, not just in New South Wales but this country and this world.